What's going on guys? Welcome back to some of day. Today we're going to be installing Hammerbuilt's brand new tailgate support system on my Ford Bronco. This is a 2021 Wild Track, but this actually will work on any full size Ford Bronco. Alright, over here on the truck we got everything laid out. It's always a good thing to get all the hardware out of the packages to make sure we have everything that we need included so we can go ahead and do the job. So this basically is the main bracket that's going to be bolted up to the tailgate of the Ford Bronco. And these are just accessories that you can add to this if you wanted to. So this is basically a high mount relocation bracket. So you can go ahead and install like a 37 inch tire or 40 or whatever your size you want to install. This will actually allow you to uh, keep or retain the third brake light above the tire. I actually don't have mine because I actually, if you watched my previous video, I went ahead and relocated the third brake light behind the tire here. But I could always add the third brake light if I wanted to. And I also went ahead and picked up a bracket that will attach like a WeBoost antenna, uh, a chase light, or like even a CB antenna radio. You can add this to this as well. So we'll be adding this as well. I don't have an antenna yet, but I will be ordering one soon. This bracket here is actually a pretty cool piece. This, you can actually add a uh, rotor pack one, two, or three gallon. I went ahead and chose the two gallon, so we're gonna be attaching that to this uh, today. You can also attach like the ARB traction boards and other accessories as well to this bracket assembly. Uh, so yeah, so let's go ahead and get started today. Uh, first thing we wanna do is actually uh, open the tailgate and we need to undo the harness for the rear camera and the dirt brake light. So we need to go ahead and get, get a little pry bar tool and pry the back of this panel. We need to go ahead and unhook. Unhook both the connectors. Now with our harness disconnected, we can go ahead and remove eight 13 millimeter bolts all the way around. Forge this bracket. All right, so before we go ahead and remove the Torx 47s from the hinge, I'm gonna stick some cardboard along the bottom of the tailgate, just some cardboard from the packaging that the, everything it came in from, just to kind of hold the tailgate up. So when we remove these four bolts, the hinge does not lose place. I'm gonna go ahead and break all four loose first. All right, so this is where you might need another hand to help you out to install the actual tailgate reinforcement bracket. We need to install these bushings into here and then we gotta install the actual bracket and then bolt it up while keeping these in place. So what I'm gonna be using is actually some painter's tape to kind of hold these in place for me while I attach the bracket and the bolts. That way you don't have to use two people. I'm gonna grab our hammer built bracket and our six millimeter allen bolts that are going to be going into place All right guys, so I'm, as I'm tightening up these screws here, I'm just gonna install these finger tight for now so we can make sure that the spare tire carrier will actually line up with these holes. And once these lines up, then we can go ahead and tighten up everything together. Go ahead and install our spare tire carrier back onto the Bronco using the hardware that came in the kit. These are also gonna be 13 millimeters with washers. All right, once we get all eight of the spare tire carrier assembly bolts started, we can go ahead and snug them down and snug down the tailgate uh, hinge bolts as well. 
All right, now so we got all eight bolts tightened down. We got four of our six millimeter Allen tightened down as well. We can go ahead and remove the cardboard from the bottom as we don't need the support no more. All right, now we're ready to install our bracket, our final bracket onto the Ford Bronco using the stainless steel hardware that came in the kit with a washer. All right, once we get all four bolts started, these are also gonna be 13 millimeter bolts. All right, let me go ahead and install our chase light or our WeBoost antenna bracket using the supplied hardware. Simply just bolts to the bracket like so. And these are gonna be 11 millimeter bolts. Like I said before, I don't have the spare tire third brake light no more, the factory one, but if you did and you wanted to relocate it, this is where you would attach the hammer belt relocation bracket to the back and just bolt it up using the four bolts and then you would bolt the existing uh, lamp right to this bracket right here. All right, we decided to go with the rotor packs system. We, this is where, when we'll be installing it. So we'll go ahead and so we'll get the supplied hardware that came in the kit from the rotor packs. Now that we got everything mounted, we go ahead and attach our, our brake light through here. We make our connections again. Cover. All right, guys, the hammer built system is on the bronco and looks really good the fit and finish on this thing was actually really nice had no issues at all with the whole assembly everything bolted up really really nice and like i said i have provisions here now for like a cb antenna or a wee boost antenna you name it or even a chase light uh the photo packs turn out really good um like i said i can add fuel or water fresh water if you're going camping to this uh, you can also add traction boards to the side of here if you don't want to do the rotor packs. I even seen some where they added like a uh, jack to the side of it. So you get numerous options on what you can do with this whole system. But now it should also take care of the noise that the factory spare tire makes whenever you're going on the road because actually the carrier system here is pretty weak. So now by adding this support here, uh, it's, it's actually supported all the way across. It should get rid of all the noise that you have inside the cabin from the spare tire carrier assembly. But yeah, uh, like I said, guys, if you have any questions about today's video, please put it down in the comments down below. And I'll try to get to you guys as soon as I can. And we'll see you guys on the next one.